This video is going to teach you how to format a script using Screenplay Formatter add-on from Google. So on this side of the screen we have the beginning of our script. This is going to be the cover page. And on the right side of the screen we have my concept, my outline, and then up here I have the Screenplay Formatter cheat sheet that's available in class and online that you can refer to. So this is my title page. I've already typed in here, this is the script for how to be a great badger. So the first thing I need to do is look over here on my cheat sheet, 12 returns down. So let's put it right there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, center, double space, just center all of this here, okay, double space, which means two returns, 1, 2, Double space again, one, two, by my name, and then we can go 12 returns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this one will be 12. Draft January 19th, 2020. Come over here, 12 more returns, and then I've got my first and last name down here. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to move this over to Write Justify and move that up to 12. And there we are. Copyright Mrs. E 2020. So then now we go in to format our script. So I've already started typing. I've got this pasted in here, but what you need to do is go up to Add ons, click that, Screenplay Formatter, and Launch. All right. So I'm going to actually shrink this down a little bit so that I can make this bigger. This is your screenplay formatter here. So this is going to help you to make sure it's the right way. First thing we do is we're going to highlight this and click header. Okay. Now if I didn't do that, let's say I just wanted to start here. I can actually start on a blank page, hit header, and a box pops up. This shows you exactly how you're supposed to format it. Interior period or exterior period, space, location, space, dash, space, time. So we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm just going to type it in lowercase extension, exterior, Tucson, hi, campus, day. Then I'm going to create header. And as you can see, it puts it all in caps and puts it in the right format. Okay. Then double space. If you notice here, well, I needed to do fade in. So I go back up here and I click fade in. There we go. Double space. That means two returns. Exterior Tucson High Campus. Double space. Here's my images of campus float on and off screen. So there's my action line. If I highlight this and click action, it doesn't look like anything happens to it. Oh, you know what? We actually need to format the page to make sure that it's in the right format. So to do that, and you can do this before you type if you'd like, go up and set screenplay margins and font. Notice this font is Arial. That's the wrong font. If I just click here, there we go. That puts it in the right format and the right font. See, it's supposed to have more room over here. So now here's my action. Narrator voiceover. I'm going to click that and then that's my speaker. So that's a narrator. It's going to turn it all into capitals and then put it in the proper where it's supposed to be. Now here's what the narrator says. So we're going to highlight everything that they say and click dialog. This is dialog too. It didn't move over. There we go. That's the way it's supposed to be formatted. Scene 2, interior classroom, midday. Again, I can either type it in right or click header and it pops up a box for me. So notice there's no space between who's saying something and what they say, but there is a double space between everything else. Teacher stood in front of the classroom. That is an action that shows the scene. Remember, action always follows the scene header. Pat is a character, so I'm going to highlight that and type, click speaker, and highlight that and click dialogue. 
and see how it puts everything in a nice pretty little thing oh that's actually not right yeah that is but that should be a parenthetical so we're gonna actually put that in parentheses dialogue speaker dialogue and notice how every time I click whether it's upper and lower case every time I click speaker it puts it where it's supposed to be and all caps that's a parenthetical and an action or a dialogue sorry and he gets up and walks out. That's an action. Okay, fade out. Here we go. Interior classroom. Action's where it's supposed to be. And we will continue. Like that. And that is how you format a script using Screenplay Formatter. Again, feel free to use your cheat sheet. You should be using going back and forth also to your outline because that tells you exactly how the story is going to proceed. Have a good time. Bye.